Okay, we're going to be talking about how to do conditional formatting. So here, they have to have an average of 75% to pass. Below that is fail. And we're going to make those cells different colors. First thing, highlight the cells. Pretty easy. And they come up here to conditional formatting. Let's zoom in here so you can see. And then you click it, and we're going to go all the way down to where it says new rule, because that's what we're going to do. And now you get some choices here. And I'm actually going to zoom in here so you can see them a little bit better. And you're going to want to say format cells that contain. Click that. And as you can see, the dialog box will change. And where it says cell value, yeah, I'm moving so you can see it. Where it says cell value, it says between. Well, we're not going to do that. We want to do greater than. I'm going to zoom in here. And so what it is, if it's greater than 75, they pass the test. If it's below it, then they fail. So we're going to type in 75 here. And now here is where the formatting comes in. We just click the format button. And we're going to want, you have four tabs at the top. And we're going to want to do fill. Right there. And the fill is going to change the color of the cell. So I'm going to make it green, green for pass. And click OK and click OK one more time and you're going to see that everybody who has 75 or higher passes the, the average. So I'm going to highlight it again and I'm going to make another new rule and this one is going to be for fail obviously. So click new rule. Yep. Yep. There you go. Format with cells that contain instead of greater than, this time less than. And of course less than 75 and I click format. I'm going to choose the color red and that's pretty much all you have to do. And uh, so as you can see that if I were to change one of the values it would change automatically. Now I'm going to do it but this time for a Mac. It's a little bit different as things happen to be between Macs and PC. So highlight the cells I want to format and as you can see on the top of a Mac they're is no conditional formatting button so we have to go up to the menus so it is actually under format and you're going to see conditional formatting which is right there I want to highlight it here for you so you can see it there it is go ahead and click that yes under format you can see that and now you're going to get a dialog box that looks almost identical so it says cell value is between that's fine but we don't want between, we want greater than, and then we're going to type in 75. <coughs> Click format. Now here's a little bit different. At the top we have font, border, and patterns. There's no fill. The patterns tab is what we want. So there's border, there's pattern. And the pattern tab will change the color of the cell. So again, uh, green for passing. I'll just click OK. Now instead of having to create a new rule, I don't have to do that. All I have to do is click on add right there on the left and I get another condition that I can do. So is less than 75 format pattern change it to red and that's pretty much all I have to do. There you have it. Uh, pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back again.